Hey there, welcome back to Badass List Building. We're still in module two, creating your lead magnets. And here in lesson five, we're talking about templates and tools. After PDF lead magnets, these templates and tools are probably the most common type of lead magnet. And they're something you should definitely think about uh, creating if they're a good fit. So let's talk about them here in this lesson. Now, the truth bomb is that people love templates and tools because they're like an easy button, which is why they make great lead magnets. I mean, the fact that people love them, want them, et cetera, means they will get people on your list. But there's some some real logic in that and some real kind of beauty in this is a place where the reason that they want them also really aligns with what you want in a lead magnet. See, because they're great freebies because they help people take action and get a quick win. So it's not just about getting people in the door. You get them in the door onto your list, but then you help them get into action, get a win and build the trust factor, which is a big part of what your list building efforts and your freebies should be about. So it's kind of getting people in, but then taking them a step forward and really helping to establish yourself as a trusted guy. Now, that being said, you shouldn't force yourself to create a template or tool just for the sake of having one. But if you can create a tool or template for your audience, if there's something that fits, they really are a perfect lead magnet. So I wanted to give this caveat because I don't want you rushing out to, to, to simply create something for the sake of creating something or creating a template because that's what people want if you don't believe a template is what they need. So I don't want you going against your judgment here. But if you can come up with a good template or tool, it can be a great way to build your list. So let's talk about the different types. So templates are kind of any kind of fill in the blank solution for your audience where you're giving them something and all they have to do is customize it and then they can use it for their business, for their life, whatever it is that you help them with. It's any kind of fill in the blank solution. Now, a perfect example is that we have offered my privacy policy template as our primary freebie for the legal stuff for years now. It's a template. They get the thing in a Google Doc uh, as of the time of this recording. And what they do is they're given instructions on how to customize it and then put it into use in their business. But I'll tell you, we have some change coming in this. Uh, and we'll talk about that later in this lesson. But you can see how this is a template and it's exactly what people want. It is something that is a, a good solution, a quick solution for or a problem they face. But let's talk about some other examples to give you some inspiration. Design templates, like a Canva template or two could be a great freebie. It doesn't have to be Canva, obviously. Uh, if It could be a, a template for an opt-in page. It could be a template for a website. There's all kinds of different templates you could create that are kind of design-based templates. Those, very helpful. Scripts. Helping people script the beginning of videos, for example, would be a great freebie because a lot of people struggle with that. So if you can give them, hey, here is, you know, very much, you know, a fill in the blank where you can tell them what they should be saying at the beginning. That works perfectly. I know I've looked for those for a long time, especially early in my journey. So those kind of script templates, a great idea uh, if that's something that, that serves your audience and that's within your area of expertise. But let's step out of like the business C kind of, you know, serving business business examples and talk about this, a budget, providing people with like a budget template where they just fill in the line items um, to help with their finances is a great freebie. If you help people with finances, let's say you help people get out of debt. Well, providing them with a budget template where each month they're supposed to fill in their numbers, et cetera, that would be a great freebie because it helps them take action. So really anything that you can provide that just requires them to do a bit of tweaking and or customizing makes for a perfect template lead magnet. So that's templates. Now let's talk about tools. A tool is an automated way to help people take a step forward to solving their problem. And, and really, it's kind of a broad definition because it is. I mean, a tool is obviously something that, that could be a lot of different things. But one way to think about it is anything that you provide as a template could become a tool if you create the logic to do the calculation or the work for them. If you create some kind of engine that will actually do the work, do the customization for them, well, that's a tool. And so that is something that's a step beyond a template that often people will find more valuable. Because again, think about it, it's takes the work out of it. It makes their life even easier. So again, let's talk about some ins inspiration here. The, the example I think of for this, uh, the most classic example, are spreadsheet calculators. There are 
endless possibilities here from, from kind of business to health, everything else. I can think of, for example, I've downloaded various uh, calculators that will help you calculate ad spend. Like, you know, hey, if this is how much money you want to make, you you fill out all these forms and then it's going to do the math and it's going to help you. And it helps walk you through. So it's not just a simple calculator that's like, you know, doing five times five. It's showing you the information that's going to affect what's happening. So that's an example of something that can be helpful. But you could think of this for health. You could think of all kinds of examples where you could create a Google sheet or any kind of spreadsheet type of calculator that will really simplify people's process by calculating things out for them. So that's an example. Now, the budget, we talked about that, you know, budgets with calculations. So uh, if you have something that will calculate out what they should be spending on certain things, so it's a bit more advanced than just a template, but it actually does the calculations. Or even if it's not doing the calculations, if you have them start, for example, by say, put in your total um, money you'll have, your kind of the money you'll have to spend this month. And then as they fill in numbers, it's taking money away. And then it would, for example, go in the red if they're spending too much and things like that. That's a simple budget where it's more than a template. It's got built in logic that's helping them kind of do the work and see what they should be doing. That's another example of a tool. Or in my case, we are turning our privacy policy template into a generator. People won't have to customize it themselves. They will answer some questions. They'll uh, provide some information. And then our tool will go ahead and spit out the completed privacy policy for them. So you can see how this is better than the template because they don't have to do the work. They answer questions and it does it for them. It saves them time and just kind of makes it very simple and straightforward for them. In our case, it will also avoid, um, you know, uh, it, it will avoid some confusion that people might have because they're not sure should they include something, shouldn't they include something. It just makes it easier for them. So that's examples of a tool. But I've got to give you a warning here. Don't create a crappy tool just for the sake of saying you have one because people will judge. I mean, they will judge you and they will judge you uh, badly if you create a tool that is either bad or that is just ridiculous that you're asking people to opt in for it. And I'll give you an example. Like, don't make people opt in to get access to what is nothing more than a basic calculator. For example, I one time downloaded a freebie or, or signed up for a freebie that was supposed to be about helping me calculate the price, how I should price my products. But really, it asked me two questions. How much do you want to make and how many do you think you can sell? <laughs> and so it literally simply uh, uh, did division. It said, well, how much do you want to make? Okay, how many do you think you sell? Boom, okay, and then it divided. That is not a good freebie because, first of all, it's like literally simple mathematics without giving me any real insight. And it's also bad because that's not how pricing works. You can't just say, I want to make this amount of money. Um, you, you have to kind of, you know, talk about these things in a more nuanced way, but we'll leave that aside. But that's an example. Like I did that and I was like, seriously, people made me opt in for this. Don't do that. Making people opt in for that will not make them happy. It doesn't serve them and it won't serve you. So don't create a tool or a template just for the sake of doing it. But if you can go ahead and create one. So kind of the big takeaway from this lesson is that templates and tools make great lead magnets because they are 100% action oriented and are designed to pe to give people a quick win. In other words, they get people into action and they give them that quick win that they're an easy button. So they're really kind of an ideal lead magnet if you can make one work. So your kind of call to action, brainstorm potential processes that you could standardize as a freebie into either a template or a tool. And if you can come up with a list and you come up with some idea, then you'll create one. But start by just brainstorming. Is there something you could do, could create a template, could create a tool to help people solve? That's it for this lesson. Now in the next lesson, we're going to talk about creating a mini, mini audio or video course as a lead magnet. I'll see you there.